So if you take microcores with a Trevor, you will get very small samples with a diameter of 2 mm or even less. So you cannot clamp these into a microtome because the samples are just too small and even these additional clamps don't help. So you have to glue the samples on wooden holders which um, make it possible to clamp the microcores into the microtome. But if you have to glue the samples onto the holders, the glue first has to dry for several hours and this can make the sample shrink and then you have cracks in your sample and then the sample is un not usable for further processing. Of course you can use paraffin as an alternative method and you won't have cracks. But this method is very time consuming. Therefore we developed a method that prevents the sample from shrinking and is still quick and easy. For processing, let the sample dry on a tissue for circa half a minute. This enables the glue to better attach to the wood. In the meantime, put some glue on the wooden holder. Use the forceps to mount the sample on the holder with the glue. Push the sample with the forceps into the notch of the holder. Take care that you mount the sample with the fibers perpendicular to the holder in order to attain good thin sections. And then cover the sample completely with glue. This will prevent the sample from drying out quickly and forming cracks. Let the glue harden for 24 hours. Clamp the sample with the wooden holder into the microtome. Take care that the bark points towards the knife. This will prevent the bark from breaking off during cutting. Brush the sample and the knife with 50% ethanol or water before every cut. Let the sample approach the knife and cut several times through the glue until you reach the actual microcore. Depending on the species, choose a thickness between 5 and 15 micrometer. Place the brush on a thin section to prevent the cut slice from curling. Put the slice on an object holder and use water to keep the slice on the object holder wet. Sometimes the glue around the slice stays attached to the glue around the sample. Therefore, you regularly have to remove superfluous glue around the sample with an additional knife. Wash the slice with distilled water in order to remove any impurity. You can use the pipette to hold the slice on the object holder and pump water through it. Let the superfluous water flow into the waste jar. Use another pipette to stain the slice on the object holder. Use as much of the stain that your slice is swimming in the droplets. Leave it there for 10 minutes. Let the superfluous stain flow in the waste jar and then clean your sample with distilled water just like you did before. Use a tissue to dry the object holder around the slice. Give a few droplets of glycerol on the slice. Often one droplet is already enough. 
then cover it with a cover slip. Take care that you do not include any air bubbles on the sample itself by lowering the cover glass carefully, beginning on one edge. Clean the object holder from superfluous glycerol and now your sample is ready.